Before sizing breakers for an inverter, you need to understand that we have the DC side of the inverter and the AC side of the inverter. So this is our inverter. We have our inverter here. This is the AC side of the inverter and here is the DC side of the inverter connected to the battery bank. Then here it is connected to our loads, AC loads. So here is DC and here is AC. So when sizing an inverter, we need to look at the maximum uh, continuous power. That's the maximum output power of the inverter and the operating voltage of the inverter. If we are sizing at the end of um, the inverter, if we are sizing breakers for the AC side, that's the output uh, side of the inverter, we take into consideration the uh, maximum power output of the inverter and the AC operating voltage of the inverter. So we are going to use Daya 6 kilowatts hybrid inverter for this um, example. So it is the maximum power output is 6 thousand watts and the AC operating voltage is 230 volts AC so if I want to know the size of breaker to you know install between the inverter and my loads I'll say 6,000 watts divided by 230 volts this will give me 26 amps now I need to apply a safety factor of 1.25 so this will be 26 multiplied by 1.25 so we have 32.5 amps so approximately I will use 40 amps so I will install a breaker an AC breaker that is rated 40 amps between the loads and the inverter now remember that the inverter the AC side you have the input and the output the input there is your grid input and your generator input then the output is for your loads to power your loads so both my ac input and my ac output i will use 40 amps uh, breaker uh, because my maximum power is uh, 6000 watts now for the dc side this is the dc side for me to install a breaker between the inverter and the battery bank, I need to take into consideration the maximum power output and the minimum operating DC voltage of the inverter. The minimum operating DC voltage. You know the DC voltage, we have uh, what is called LVD or the cutoff voltage. Now for this inverter, the, the, the DC operating voltage is from 40 volts. Now this will be 6,000 watts divide by 40 volts this will give me 150 amps multiply by a safety factor of 1.25 this will be 187.5 amps which is approximately 200 amps so i will install a dc breaker that is rated 200 amps but if i have like a lithium battery and my cutoff voltage is 48 volts that's my minimum operating dc voltage is 48 volts this will be uh 6 000 watts divided by 48 volts so if i have this so this will be 1.2 i mean uh, sorry 125 amps so if i multiply 125 by 1.25 which is a safety factor it will give me 156.25 amps so uh, you will not be able to get a breaker size that is rated 156 amps so you go for 160 amps dc breaker now for these 40 amps the cable you are connecting between the inverter and your ac loads the ampacity of that cable should be 40 amps or more than 40 amps for this one the ampacity should be 
200 amps or more than 200 amps. That is the cable you're connecting between your battery bank and the inverter. The ampacity should be 200 amps or more than 200 amps. Now, if your minimum operating DC voltage is 48 volts, the ampacity of your cable should be 160 amps or more than 160 amps. That is, that cable should be able to carry 40 amps or more than 40 amps or 200 amps 160 amps so this is how to size you know the breakers between your battery bank and the inverter between your inverter and your loads between your inverter and the generator between your inverter and your grid so these things are very important and necessary so that you will not destroy you know your equipment even if you are installing a fuse like some batteries you need to uh, that don't come with an um, internal fuse or most times even when they have internal fuse it is always good you install your own external fuse for maximum protection if you are installing a fuse this is still the approach you use we have here you look for a fuse that is rated 200 amps when you look for a fuse that is rated 160 amps uh, if you are connecting that fuse to your battery bank so um thank you for watching I have a video if you know, want to know how to size a breaker between if uh, this is a hybrid inverter. If you are sizing uh, breakers between the solar panels and the hybrid inverter, I already have a video. Check my uh, channel, my YouTube channel. I have a video on how to size uh, the uh, PV side of the solar system if you are sizing breakers you know, over protection. Um, devices. If you want to know more about sizing various components of a solar power system, I have a PDF on you know that will guide you on how to choose the various components of a solar power system. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.